Hey YouTube, uh, Zeta Slayer here, a different video, uh, apart from my normal computer stuff. I got a, uh, did a lot of upgrades to my car recently, so I'm gonna show you guys what those are like. So this is a 2002 Suzuki, it's just a small SUV. So I started right here, I got a, uh, Kenwood Exelon, it's a 395, so that's just a four channel, you know, with a sub, uh, receiver. So I got that set up in there. And then I got kicker, six and a half inch components. It's a 75 RMS. So I mounted the tweets right here, surface mount. It doesn't look the best, but I mean, it fits really well. So when you close the door, it just lines up great right here. And it sounds awesome. And then I have the, uh, the woofers down here. I couldn't get into the boot right there because I don't know why, but Suzuki, like they have a closed boot up here. So it's, it's practically impossible getting wires through that. So I did a, um, drilled a hole here, it's the same thing on both sides obviously, and I um, routed it down here and kind of had like a pulley system sort of thing, so when you close and open the door the wires don't get stuck but they also don't protrude in too much. So that's what I have there for those speakers. Then I have the RCAs for that and the sub running underneath here, opposite side of the power cable, which is my 4 gauge right here. And uh, here I have a knob that I installed right here under the uh, dash here and left side, so passengers can't mess with it. It's a base knob. So this just controls, you know, the level of the base and everything according to what I have it set on the uh, the dials back there and then the um, control on the receiver. So go to the back. People doing stuff outside. Here I have, um, this is a sound one and stuff from Crushfield, a great service from them. So I have a uh, 4075 this is the four channel powering just right now front right and front left components like I showed you a minute ago I don't have um rear yet I'll get those soon probably and then I have a 1350 so oh, that's 75 RMS like I said and then a 1350 here so that's a mono channel for powering the uh, sub here so that's a 12 inch 350 RMS sub these um, basically were made for each other so I just got both of them I have power wires on that side, RCA's on this side, going down here, coming from the receiver, and then you know it all meets up back here, this goes up to the sub back there, and yeah, so that's that's what it is, and I put up a, another video probably before this one of a um, little sound test, but just so you guys can see, I'll pick a different song, turn it up a little bit, I can't turn it up too loud because um. Um, people will start complaining and stuff, but here. Watching. If you guys have any questions or anything, just uh, you know, send me a message, comment or something, and I'll uh, I'll show you how I did it or whatever you're asking me about. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.